Here I have our sequins and ribbon foot, which has, and the eighth inch accessory guide, which has two openings. I'm using the eighth inch opening for this eyelash yarn, which is really, really fun to look at. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and um, this is it after I've stitched it on. And as you sew, you keep your eye focused like right here and just keep looking in the same spot and steer the fabric to keep it the stitch going on the edge. And the stitch that I've chosen to use is it's a kind of like a backwards blanket stitch. And that way the stitch after you're done with it and you brush it to the side, it all falls to one side. If the uh, blanket stitch were used, the stitch would force the trim to fall to the center. And you just go ahead and continue sewing. After you stitch, you're gonna see that the trim is kind of tucked in. It's not furry like on this side. So you just use a regular old straight pin and you begin pulling out the I'm pull this back a little bit getting a little too close of a close-up you just pull using a pin to get the little ends to pop out And after you've got it all out, you just kind of take your fingers like this and brush it all to the side, and it exposes the stitch that you used to stitch it on. So that's how you get that uniform look along the edge of your material. I hope you liked this. This is the sequins and ribbon foot and the eighth inch accessory guides.